Yo, what's up guys, my name is Dan and this is my tutorial about landscapes as you can see in the title and this is my face which you're seeing for the first time but we'll talk about this later, let's just get into the video um, so this is what we're painting uh, starting out with the thumbnail, you can say, you can call it rough pass but uh, I, these are basically thumbnails, I'm just experimenting with different perspectives and ideas um, the, pr the prompt of, of this painting is going to be um, a wizard taming a rock monster so now I, I went into blender and some did a very basic blowout for composition and now I'm just painting sky and this is the rock that I'm going to be painting so the secret about getting the material of a rock right is your brushwork so you have to have your brushwork so you have to make your brushwork loose and then you can add some additional details like cracks and you know these these small dots like, like this one this one on the rock to make it look like a rock and then there's also some color variations like these green stains and some reddish tones on there and now I'm just doing a uh, very temporary landscape for the scene and to just get the feel of the whole you know so get a full context of the painting you know so now I'm painting the uh, some additional details so these are just my placeholders for ideas I'm going to replace them with some better stuff as you can see the tree is still there which is which was my initial plan I wanted to have a tree on the shoulder of this which I, I was I'm going to in the later part of the video but for now it is just a placeholder and I'm just adding more details on the rocks and stuff I'm painting these hills you know and and also important part these birds are there not for just being birds because they're flying but they are they are there to sell the scale of our painting you know of this rock guy so if the birds are small as compared to this which this automatically tells us this is a big thing and also there's going to be tree at this part which is right here so this also tells you that this is a very big one so no just a like small you know human size thing this, these, these are way bigger than humans you can compare it by the scale of this tree and some nice shadows on the, sh on the tree you know and the next part is going to be our main landscape so this is the main story point of this video the painting would look very nice without this landscape just this rock monster standing in a in a hillside you know these giant valleys but we have to have some story story in the painting so that's why I was just I'm adding this this is a placeholder for our uh, wizard guy adding some volumetrics and now I'm just I do this this grid to have a an idea of perspectives of what the perspective is going to be for this video uh, for this image uh, I keep seeing video and have some more ideas in the painting I should have done thumbnails before going getting into it but I was just get throwing up throw, throwing in the ideas on the go you know I'm experimenting with the grass and you know having the trees I was initially planning it to be a jungle scene but then I just discarded it so now it's a very plain grassy land and wizard is standing in the middle of it taming a rock monster you know this is all done in clipster paint by the way except for the layer that you just saw in the uh, initial part of this video uh, if, if, I, if I go back there so this one this is just this is done in blender uh, to get an idea of composition so I can play around with the camera angle easily I don't have to draw everything if I want to like change the angle a bit that's why I drew it in blender and didn't even use it in the final painting you know just just for the reference and now we're back at it I'm not okay I skipped the initial the most interesting part of this video um, so now I'll be drawing some bushes so these bushes I, I've done like very basic techniques so I drew I, I chose a very soft brush it's not very soft but it's a soft brush I drew basic shapes of the bushes and then I took um, a, a leaf brush which is comes by default in Glyph Studio Paint and I used uh, you know I drew the detail with that brush and some flowers with the, the, these are some like small doors indicating the flower in there just to add some interest in there and as uh, and you can see a small tree right like way in the distance so this is also uh, an element to sell the scale of this whole creature and now uh, so now I've drawn these bushes um, the bushes when, when I used to draw bushes in my early years I, I had a custom brush for it and I just used that brush only so the secret to drawing a good br bush is using a custom brush that you have which, which saves you some time and then you can go in with your simple regular line brush and draw some details like these leaves and stuff and okay, okay. I was talking over it and I missed the most interesting part 
okay now we have this thing and uh, this I will replace this by a full wizard painting before I do this pose sketches so I used file object for these drawings and uh, so file objects are basically smart smart objects in, in Photoshop so you can draw uh, objects from in a different file than your main file and now I'm just drawing some uh, Dr. Stain inspired visual effects on there we have the thieves and now dra drawing some some shadows to hide them in the bushes you know I don't want to attract that much attention and also there are some uh, there are focus directing elements as well so since this guy is looking at the wizard and if we actually if a viewer accidentally looks at this painting and sees this guy he'll be looking at this one so it will, a human will automatically look at what the other person is looking at so that's what we're going to do so th this is a good good trick to direct vision of your viewer and again drawing some notes for the next day you know i just drew them now it looks like nothing's happening but i'm drawing small details in this part of the of the painting and this is the finishing part this is where we end the video but i also did some minor adjustment with the color grading and stuff at the end using color balance adjustment layer uh which will come right here so yeah this is the final painting this we have so that's it that's the video if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments and you can subscribe for more and you can subscribe and then like the video which these are guy these guys are like uh, cheering up you uh, cheering you up for doing you know to do cheering you up to do um yeah and please subscribe to give this guy strength so he can lift my camera angle up and you know have a nice day so that's been the video have a nice day and subscribe for more thank you